guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my Sephora play box for July. All right guys, so let's just get right into it. We'll unbox my July box, then we'll talk about the products in June's box and talk about some products that I got just that I got at Sephora because I kinda, kinda got a lot because it was my birthday this month. So I got a lot of Sephora gift cards, including one from Maddie and Bonsai Vapor. You guys are so nice. So I, you better believe I already spent it. But let's check out this box. And I've had this for a while and I haven't been able to look at it and make a video. So like, I'm so excited. I haven't even opened it yet. Here is this month's play card, which also matches the little theme. Beauty Staycation is the theme for July. And here's my play card, which if you're new here, this play card will get you extra beauty insider points when you use it within the month that you get it or within a month of when you get it so I can use this until the end of August and here is the little informational about all the products in the box here's this month's bag it says glamp out let's just open it up oh, okay all right oh I think I'm grabbing oh no I thought this was the smelly so this is a bare minerals gen nude matte liquid lip color it comes with this thing what's this a little fold out oh it's showing like all of the different skin tone um colors that they have smooch slay swag icon juju swank kiss face infamous so on and so forth and i'm not sure which one i have so well, let's check it out here is the little bottle bare minerals i have swag that's this color i'll go ahead and swatch it here is the color swatch for this swag bare minimal color what's next what is this milk makeup oh it's like some sort of stick like that doesn't really smell like much i'm gonna have to look and see what this is cooling water let me look up what this is all wet to go milk makeup cooling water hydrating gel stick refreshes and soothes skin for a quick boost of moisture when you're on the go so it's like an on the go moisturizing stick before applying makeup slather all over face neck body and eye area and keep it in the fridge for an icy cool treat next we have Barogio roscaro milk reparative leave-in conditioning spray so this is for your hair and i'm excited because these ends are very dead i want to smell this too but i don't want to spray it um, oh we have a jar of some sort oh this is the I'm, i don't know how to pronounce this but i actually got a product from this line i think she said it was boshia b-o-s-c-i-a this is Intensive wash off treatment. It looks like it's black and white. <gasps> Weird it is. Oh, it's, it's kind of got a strong smell, which I'm always scared to put like strong smelling stuff on my face. Oh, I got some on my finger. But we shall see how it goes. Charcoal pour pudding. Definitely has like a pudding texture. It smells very intense let me read about this real quick swirl black and white charcoal mask balances skin's moisture absorbs impurities and minimizes the appearance of pores cool and oh 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 wow here we go this is superhero elastic stretch volumizing mascara by it cosmetics oh so you open it up it's like this and it comes here's the little sample and this just has like the 96% people saw volumizing, blah, blah, blah. I'll test it out for myself, thanks. Let's check out the wand. Okay, good. It's not one of those big, clumpy, messy wands that I don't like. And it doesn't smell too bad either. I know, I'm so weird. Like, I smell them. Like, I like to smell stuff, and I don't like my stuff to smell super chemically. So this is the Superhero by It Cosmetics. I'll be excited to check this out. This is super black. That's what it's called, the color. Um, my reigning favorite mascara is still Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. And last but not least, we have the smelly of the month, Orange Sanguine. I, I'm not pronouncing that right at all, but it's gonna have an orange smell, I bet. Oh, it doesn't have a little pump. It's like one of those droppers that you drop. So I guess I'll just put it on myself. Mmm, oh my gosh, it smells so good. But not picky when it comes to smells as long as I don't smell like a dude. Mmm, oh, it's got this light, crispy orange. Ah, oh, 
perfect for summertime. And it's got so it's like orange and crisp, but it's also like smells clean, and I like a clean smell. Mm. So I'm super excited to try all these out. I'm actually like really interested in everything: the mascara, the uh, face pudding, the hair, the leave-in hair stuff, the cooling gel, and I'll check out um, how the Bare Minerals formula is on my lips, but I, what I'm wearing right now is what I'm about to talk about, because we're going to talk about last month's box products, but I'm loving this lip stuff. So, let's talk about last month. First things first, because honestly, I only tried, well, I tried everything, but I only tried two things from last month's box, enough to have like an opinion on it, so I'll have to come back once I try the other things and tell you guys later about them. But this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, I have it in Lovesick. I'm wearing it right now, but I actually bought a couple colors of it. I love this formula. It does not come off. You literally have to use like a makeup wipe to get it off. I swatched a few colors in Sephora before I got my nails done because I wanted to get some new colors because I'm just so impressed on how long it lasts on my mouth. And I like liquid. I like that formula. And um, it didn't even come off. I was washing, oops, dropping shit. I was washing my hands when I was about to get my nails done and it wouldn't come, and I was like scrubbing it. It wouldn't even come off with soap. Like, well, it did a little bit, but there's still residue. And so later I like had to take it off, you know, all the way. But like, it, it doesn't come off in the shower or nothing. Like I am, so far, this is the most impressive liquid lip formula for like staying on my mouth through eating and talking and showering, like through all the day it stays on. So this is like, I'm, this is my favorite liquid lip for long lasting and then also like there's a bunch of new colors and crazy colors too that they just added that I don't personally wear crazy colors but like cool if you want them but this stuff is ace and I will be buying more colors of this even better than the Smashbox liquid lipstick stuff that I was obsessed with for a while and then the other thing from that box that I did try was the um Kula it's a setting spray but it also has SPF in it which I think is perfect because it's summertime now it does have like it's SPF 30 and it does have like kind of a smell to it not on your face but when you first spray it and because it does have like some SPF in it I don't know if that's why but it kind of has like a little tingling sensation on it when I spray it on my face so I definitely only use this if I'm gonna be out in the Sun otherwise I use my preferred setting spray which is the mist and fix by makeup forever because it does it's just like so cooling and refreshing but um, I think that is a great idea to have SPF in your setting spray I mean that's perfect because you don't want to put sunscreen over your makeup so just use a setting spray with SPF but they also have like SPF um, foundation which I talked about in last month as well that you could use if you want to now the three other products from last month's box I didn't use I didn't use this pore stuff because I've been looking into it and like I don't really want to cake my pores in like this clay stuff and it's like pretty thick but I will I'll give it a try and if you've tried this this is the pore professional please let me know but like I just feel Ugh, about like it's literally like putting clay in your pores like it seems like I haven't used it but like from what I've read and what I've heard from other people like talking to my friends about it and I didn't use the um, dry shampoo here because I really really like the detox dry shampoo so I didn't even think about it I would just when I needed to use it I just grab my go-to and spray it in and go but I really want to try this because it also it has what is it um, in here oat milk so I haven't tried it yet it's like not even open, but I will come back and probably tell you about it next month. If I, I gotta remember to use it. I have so many little products and samples to try that it's hard to keep up with all of the stuff that I have. And then I didn't use this. I, I think I maybe used it one time and I was like, okay, cool. But this is the sea spray and it gives you like a textured look. Well, I'm already, I already get that really from all the water because I've been in the river a lot and I have my own pool. So my hair like after it's wet kind of just does that on its own. Um, so yeah, I haven't used this enough to be like, yeah, this is cool. But I think this is more for like curly hair because as you can see, my hair is stick straight. This is like just letting it dry, you know, it's wet so I brush it out a little and then letting it dry and it's just stick straight. This is my natural stick straight hair. And I feel like Verb really caters to um, like curly hair because I also got like a couple other things from Verb before and it's, it's for like waves and stuff. So I think it's, it's catered to curly hair. I could be wrong but like just the things that I've gotten were for curly hair and my hair just doesn't want to do nothing. Like even when I curl it, it like dies in two minutes. And in last month I also showed, I got a little um, gift box for like 500 points of different Too Faced products. I didn't use any of them. I got like um, a liquid lipstick that was like not my color. I got the eyeshadow primer, which I hardly ever use eyeshadow. And so if I hardly ever use eyeshadow, I hardly ever use eyeshadow primer. So I didn't actually use it, but it's the shadow insurance kind, which I've heard people rave about. And obviously I got the little chocolate bar palette, but I didn't use it. Well, I did use it once, but like that's not enough to like be like, hey guys, you know, like talk about it. I used it once. And anything's better than what I've been used to. Anything like higher end is better than what I was used to. 
I rarely put on eyeshadow though. So anyways, I did use this though. This is the, and I really was excited about this, the Better Than Sex Mascara because everyone used to rave about it uh, when I started my Sephora unboxings, you know, a year ago I think it was. I like the formula. It's nice, but I don't like the wand. It's big and bulky and like I have really small eyes and like pathetic eyelashes. My real eyelashes are just so sad. And so the wand isn't my favorite, but I like the formula. And now that it's summertime and I'm spending a lot of time in the water, I'd really rather try the um, waterproof formula to see how that goes because I don't wear any makeup when I go on the river because I'm gonna jump in and it's just gonna run down my face. And then I've got these two things from my past box. This is a really old box, so I use this whole thing. This is the First Aid Beauty Deep Cleanser. It's a red clay mask, Skin Rescue. And I used it and I liked it, um, but the more I use it, it's got like this really intense smell which doesn't bother my skin but it kind of started to tingle a bit I have really sensitive face skin and it was okay in the beginning but I don't like anything that like really tingles on my cheeks or anything because they just get so red and inflamed from anything like that so I mean it was great like it I feel like it you know kept my face really nice but after a while my skin was like I don't think we really like this one so but I used it all just to not waste it but I think it did a good job of like purifying and also like smoothing my skin while I did use it and then this was the Christopher Robin sugar scrub it's a detoxifying shampoo and I didn't use it during its month it smells really good but I did I have been using it and I don't use it a lot because it's a detoxifying scrub so I think like I probably shouldn't use it all the time because then I might dry out my hair but oh my god let me tell you what it makes my hair so freaking soft when I do use it and I used it one time before bed because my hair was really like greasy from the day and the river and everything and I used that and then I went to sleep and when I woke up my hair was so soft like I didn't even have to wash it the next day because it was just like because usually I wash my hair in the morning because I get terrible bed head but it was just so soft and silky from this stuff like I like this stuff a lot I think that this is really good but I'm not sure how often you're supposed to use it I don't think it doesn't really say how often you're supposed to use it it's a de it's used as a detox or post color which I'm not coloring my hair anymore as you can see it's grown out quite a bit I'm not bleaching it anymore but it's good for like a detox like after I've been in the pool or in the river you know or my hair is like if I go a couple days and it's really really greasy I like this a lot just the way it makes my hair feel the next day is amazing and then like I said earlier I did buy some more of the everlasting liquid lip colors by Kat Von D I have here mother which was the first one I bought and then outlaw which is a red lip because I love having a red lip so I have outlaw and mother here and these two I think these were like $20 20 something dollars for these um one like two of them together would be 40 something but it's like they're they're spendy but they're worth it oh my god because I'm wearing the the sample one that I got the love stick color and it just they last so I had to get a brighter pink because the love sticks kind of like a natural pink so I had to get a brighter pink and a red lip for myself and then two other full-size products that I got because I fell in love with them from my Sephora play box is the Sephora eye makeup remover and this actually removes um, waterproof makeup as well I love it it's it feels just so good on my eyes like I <laughs> I'm sure everyone has sensitive eyes but like Anything that I've used near my eyes kind of burns if I get it in my eye. This stuff, I mean, like, if you dumped it in your eye, yes, it would burn. But, like, I can put this on a cotton swab and swab off all my makeup in, like, a gentle swipe. So I just really like this because I used to use just makeup removing wipes and I, you know, scrub with the, to get it off. And that's just not good for your sensitive eye skin. But I love this stuff, so I got a big bottle of it after I used my, um, my two samples. But you do have to shake it up because it does separate. And then this, ah, the Purity Cleanser I did talk about needing a bigger bottle of it. I went and got a bigger bottle of it at Sephora and I'm so surprised. It was only $24. For some reason I thought it was going to be more because when I bought the moisturizer that I really like, that was $54. This was $24 for this big old bottle. It's a one-step facial cleanser, 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 and I love it. It's so nice. It keeps my skin clear and smooth, so smooth, and it doesn't hurt. And I've been using this I don't even know how long ago. Maybe two months? Have I had it for two months now? I think I got it not in last, obviously not in last month's box, but the box before or maybe the box even before that. So I've loved, this is like, I leave this in my shower and I use it in my shower and I use it here and here and here and on my neck and I just, I love this stuff. This is my favorite facial cleanser right now. And then I also got this at Sephora as a birthday gift. This is, because my birthday was this month, this is the Tarte little birthday gift and it comes with a color and a blush. I'm actually wearing the blush right now. I love this blush 
what color is it again it is party that's the color and I love it I think it's a really nice natural blush color there it is and then this um, my mom actually got this too. This is the Tartist lip paint and she loves this color and I like it too. It's just um, I Love the formula of the everlasting better, but here I'll swatch this so you guys can see the color Oh, and you can see that this other swatch that I just did of whatever lip of uh, the bare minerals has already smeared on my hand You can see it, but here's the one that I just swatched. So that's the Tartist lip paint party color. And then I have four products that I just bought on a whim. Like I, I, well not on a whim. I bought this. This is the Hangover X primer. It's a Too Faced primer and it's like, like everyone says it's like the best primer out there. And it's really like thin and like I like the formula. I do not like the smell. The smell of this on my face almost turned me off enough to want to take it back. But I couldn't find the receipt. <laughs> but that goes back to like what I was saying about the poor professional benefit thing I was using Smashbox primers and they're so thick and clay and I just don't want to stuff my facial pores with that I don't want to do that and this is very thin and like moisturizing and replenishing so I do like the formula and what this does but the smell girl like I am super sensitive to smells and I don't like the smell of this so I almost have to like not breathe through my nose until my foundation and setting powder is all the way on and then then I can't smell it anymore and then I got this this is the Sephora solid brush cleaner it has um, what in here argan oil and stuff in it it's in like all of an almond it's supposed to be like very natural and I used it and I love it so it's like got this little scrub brush but on the underside there's a bar of cleansing soap on the other side well it's like because I've already been using it so um, I've never cleaned my brushes before and I was like girl you need to clean your brushes they're getting pretty brown so I got this and I love it. and it works well but it's just like a pain to clean your brushes so I'm actually thinking about looking into that thing that bunny from grave graveyard girl uses that like spins your brushes really fast and cleans them really fast I want to try that out because this took a long time. It did get my brushes clean, they smelled nice, but it just like took forever. And then this, oh my God. So I went to Sephora and I just couldn't pass this up because it was so pretty. This is the Love Light um, Too Faced Prism Highlighter. And I got this one in Blinded by the Light. I swatched all three of them. Oh, I love it. I'm not wearing it today because I wanted, I wanted to show you guys how beautiful it was before I messed it up. <gasps> oh girl, look at it. It's so so pretty I love it and it's just so aesthetic with this cute little heart compact and the mirror can you guys see yourself where are you guys there you are there's my camera I love it so I'm super excited to try this out I just I couldn't pass it up because it's aesthetic and then the last thing I got see is the Boshia Boshia I'm not sure how to pronounce that but it's a black peel off facial mask so it's like those ones that you see online where they peel it off and like all the blackheads are coming out I'm gonna do a video on this because I want to see because this this area I have a lot of blackheads on my chin and on my nose as you do and so I'm really excited I want to try it I heard that it hurts to peel it off but it's worth it when all those blackheads come out and then your pores are just clean and then you can use a toner and tighten them up and I am stoked to try this out and when I bought that I just found this today because I just got those products a few days ago they gave me a sample and I didn't even know they were going to give me a sample it's a little sample of Josie Marin Argan Moisturizer SPF 47. So this is a facial moisturizer that has SPF in it. So, um, sure, cool, I'll try it. Thanks for the free little sample Sephora that I didn't even know was there until right about to film this video. Oh my God, okay, I know I've been talking forever and this video has gone on so long as my makeup videos do because I just like get so excited when I go to Sephora to buy all these products, but I wanted to mention this. I did not get this from Sephora. I don't even think you can get this at Sephora, but I'm not sure. Maybe you can. It's Avita, and it's a stress fix body cream, and oh my god, it works. I love this stuff. I like to put it on before bed, and it, it smells like my massage therapist's office when I go in and what she uses on me. Oh, it's got lavender. I just, I love it. It really does, like, okay, this makes sense now to me. I am sensitive to smells. And these kind of relaxing smells really work for me. So this like, it's just like a calming smell. And then when you rub it on your body, it's just like all you can smell. And I just really love this. And I went to go get a full size thing of it at my salon. Cause that's where I got this. It's a little sample that I got from Jazz a long time ago. And they didn't have a full size one of it. So I don't know what the price is. So I'm like milking this little sample for as long as I can. I don't know if you can get it at Sephora. Maybe you can. 
if you can. I didn't see it, but I didn't look really hard for it because usually I'm in the makeup section, not in the skincare section. But I love this stuff. It works so good. It's like anxiety relieving. Like I'll get anxiety and I'll just like rub it on my arms and just just it's calming and I love it so it really works I honestly I was like stress fix like lotion that's gonna make me feel good like what and then I tried it and I'm like ah oh, it's so calming I love but I'm that kind of person that smells like like those smells like are calming to me but I hope you guys enjoyed this video let's talk about makeup in the comments below if you saw anything here that you love and like want to rave about down below or if you've tried any of these products that I'm going to try let me know in the comments below that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos weekends are for videos of whatever I feel like doing weekday videos are vape related so I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one Bye!